Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a few techniques that you can use to make a cool watercolor effect in Adobe Photoshop. This effect is, uh, is pretty useful on uh, a variety of images so go ahead and just try it on any image that you want. It's kinda cool with people too so you might want to try it on, on something like that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. The, uh, the first thing that we want to do is open up our image in Adobe Photoshop and I have done that. So uh, what we want to do is go to our Layers Palette, and if your Layers Palette's not open, go up to Window at the top, down to Layers, and click on it, and that should open up your Layers Palette. And what you want to do is you want to make a copy of the background layer, and uh, you can do that by selecting your background layer, and then pressing Control-J on your keyboard, Command-J on a Mac, or, um, or you can simply just take that layer and drag it down into the New Layer button in your Layers Palette, and then you have that background copy. Okay, so we want to do that actually um, three times so that we have... Oh, actually, um, first, let me not get ahead of myself. Uh, we want to take that, uh, that copy that we just made, go up to Layers, down to Smart Object, and convert that to a Smart Object. And then we're going to go ahead and make two more copies of that Smart Object to Layer. So now, our new layer that we made is a Smart Object, and we're going to make copies of that. So I'll press Control-J on my keyboard to make two more copies, okay? So now I have three copies of my background layer. This uh, original background I'm just going to leave alone for now. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is uh, rename these layers so that we just know what layer we're, we're, uh, we're working with. And uh, I'm going to name them based on what techniques and what filters we're going to use. So I'm going to call this one Cutout. The middle one I'm going to call <clears throat> Dry Brush. And the top one I'm going to call uh, Median. Okay, median. Okay, so now that we got that, uh, what we want to do is we want to deselect, or actually uh, make the two, the median and the dry brush layers, we want to just make them invisible so that we can work with our cutout layer. Okay, uh, the next thing that we want to do is go up to uh, filter, down to filter gallery, and open up our filter gallery. <clears throat> this might take a couple seconds, um, so just be patient with me please. All right, so now underneath this artistic um, drop-down in our um, filter gallery, go ahead and select Cutout, and set the levels in the Cutout here to uh, 4, 4, and 2, and then press OK. All right, and that's kind of the effect that that gives, uh, gives you there. And go ahead and change the blending mode on that layer to uh, Luminosity. It's the bottom most uh, blending mode there. Okay, next thing that we want to do is go up to our dry brush layer and we'll go ahead and make that visible again we'll go up to filter down to filter gallery uh, it should be up here now or you can still go down to that same thing <clears throat> and open that up okay then select uh, dry brush underneath artistic and set the settings to uh, 10 10 and 3 and then press OK all right now the next thing that we want to do is make our median layer visible and we'll click on that. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back one second. Um, we need to change the blending mode on that dry brush layer once again. And we'll set that, uh, we'll set that to screen. All right. And let me just disable that so you can see what that did. All right. So this is where it was at. And then, oh. And then when we set it to screen, this is what it does. Okay, so it does make a difference. If you want to hide these uh, filter layers, you can just click on this little arrow to the right. All right, now we're going to move on to that median layer, and we're going to make that visible, and we're going to select it. Then we're going to go to the top once again to the filter gallery. Oh, actually, we're going to go to filter, down to noise, and go to median. And we're going to add 12 pixels of median, and we're going to go ahead and press OK. All right, and that's what that does. So uh, the next thing that we do is we're going to set the blending mode of that layer to soft light. And there it is. And that, uh, that pretty much gives you the effect that we're going for. Uh, you have a nice watercolor effect. I recommend going through and clicking these layers on and off to see um, kind of which one, or kind of, like if, if you uh, dislike this cutout layer, I think that looks pretty good. It's a different kind of effect. It's a little less uh, abstracted than if you have it on. 
but uh, but definitely play around with that. And if you want less of one of these layers, feel free to click on the layer and take the uh, opacity down a little bit. So if you want to take the median layer down to 50%, you can do that. It's all uh, all up to personal preference at this point. So I'm showing you the the basic technique. We're definitely looking like a watercolor effect. If you want to take, say, the cutout area and make it less, say, just in the flowers, you can add a layer mask to that layer just by clicking on the layer mask button down there. And then you can select your eraser, go up to the top, make sure the hardness is set to a pretty low number. I'm going to set, set it to zero. And you can put, set your brush size pretty, pretty high. And you can just brush away that effect for that particular layer. And that, this works... Uh, you know, on any of those layers for either any of those effects. So if you wanted these to be completely back to normal, you could just do that on each one of these layers and these flowers would be back to normal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that layer. But we are essentially done and you have your watercolor effect. So I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial. Um, if you did, please click the like button on YouTube. It helps me out a lot. Please follow me on uh, Twitter and like me on Facebook and thanks for watching.